the clip of what Ed Markey said that made him cry. And uh, thank you for this important hearing. And Mr. Schultz, it's uh, good of you to show up. Ed fucking Mackey. You face little choice. It's disappointing to me that it took such a long time and required the threat of a subpoena for you to appear before this committee. And it's frankly disrespectful to your hundreds of thousands of employees, uh, but we do appreciate you finally appearing here. For the record, I don't think, for people who think like, oh, he's doing this because like, maybe he's gonna get fined, uh, you know, a couple million dollars 10 years down the line when like the unionization efforts have been trampled and long gone. I disagree. I think this is worse than that. Like I said, I feel like this level of brazen union busting, which is like openly illegal, is done so that they can fucking is done so that they can fucking take it up to the Supreme Court. Okay? All across America, workers are saying that they've had enough rising inequality and outlandish CEO pay for those at the top, like you, and a paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck subsistence for everyone else. The unionizing Starbucks workers are on the front lines as a groundswell of working and middle-class people who are banding together to assert their right to organize, form a union, and collectively bargain for their dignity. My father used to tell me that you can't beg for your rights, you have to tell them. He Do it, lost Mackie. his finger in an industrial accident as a young man. There was no OSHA. He just said, the boss said, see you next week, John, back on the job. That was before unions. That was before rights were put on the books. And ultimately, that's... Not your oomphy roasting the Starbucks CEO. My oomphy, my Twitter oomphy is roasting the Starbucks CEO, which makes me feel like I'm roasting him. You know what, what I mean? Starbucks workers are doing. Workers in Buffalo are the spark that's lit the fire the of organizing its locations across the country, including 15 Starbucks locations in, Amer in Massachusetts. The American people are watching. Public support for unions hit a record high late last year with 71% of Americans approving of labor unions. So as you sit here denigrating your workers, you're not just morally and legally wrong, you're in the minority. You're out of touch. Union busting is disgusting. I got the chance this week to meet with Caitlin, who is a Starbucks employee from Gardner, Massachusetts. Like you, Caitlin cares deeply about Starbucks. She originally started working for the company in 2006 and came back to rejoin Starbucks in 2021. When she came back, she saw Starbucks similar to how you describe it in your testimony, a company that had lost its way. She saw a company that now only cared about money mm. at the expense of the health and well-being of its workers. So to help save the Starbucks she once knew and loved, Caitlin and her co-workers formed a union. They wanted to revive a wayward company, make your company better. But you vilify Caitlin and her colleagues for caring. You demonize them for participating in their fundamental right to organize. And worse, you and your company set out to punish Caitlin and her colleagues, withholding benefits and raises, cutting hours, and purposefully understaffing to harm their most dedicated partners. So when you give us 10 pages of testimony extolling the benefits that Starbucks offers its employees, that's not what I see. I see Caitlin. I see you squeezing the people who have made you rich with blatant disregard for the law, perhaps because you think if you can hire the lawyers and pay the union-busting consulting firms, you can get away with violating other people. Yeah, it's also, uh, it should be important. A couple things should be important. If unions were not successful in cutting profits at the behest of the workers, then these guys wouldn't spend billions of dollars on fucking lawyers specifically that engage in union-busting. If unions were not successful in cutting or returning some of the profits that you generate as a worker in your workplace with benefits and better compensation and better uh, scheduling opportunities, the threat of unionization alone would not immediately yield positive outcomes for the non-unionized workplace. This is why the NLRB uh, uh, brings forward studies every fucking year. 
Unions historically have led to 10% increase in wages. And even in non-unionized workplaces, uh, there is a noticeable increase in wages due to other union, union shops that uh, improve their workplace conditions. Now, of course, when, when a company uh, chooses to offer benefits without the threat uh, or without the actual union forming, they can take those benefits back at any given moment because there's no contract. They're not legally liable. There's no organizational capacity to basically uh, demand that the uh, company fulfill those promises that they made. Okay? It's almost like market competition is a good thing. I love that. Dude, listen. All I'm going to state for you, my friend, is that there is no such thing as like real market competition in the United States of America. If that was the case, companies like Amazon would cease to exist. Uh, Amazon currently owns a monopoly on e-commerce. Don't give me that actually. They only own like uh, less than 50 or they only own like a little bit over 50%. Uh, secondly, okay. Secondly, secondly, I think they mean that unions create competition. No, it's bullshit. There should be federal regulations surrounding this. This idea that like it's free market competition is stupid. There is no free market. There's no such thing. Well, I guess there is one. Uh, cryptocurrency is, is kind of a decentralized, deregulated space, and we see how great that is, right? People's rights with disregarding their dignity and with silencing working people in America. But here's the thing. If you can pay the lawyers and the consultants and the PR specialists, you can also pay the workers a fair wage. So you say that your father was unfairly fired after he was injured on the job. Your father had no rights, and your family paid the price. That is how your workers now feel. They have no rights. They don't want to be like your father, who had no rights. They don't want their families to have to pay the price for their children the way your father had to pay a price mm. for his children. Mm. They want rights. Mm. Your father couldn't protect himself. That's all your workers are looking for. Mm. So they can protect themselves and their family so that what happened to your family does not happen to their family. Mm. I don't think you understand that, Mr. Schultz. They're just looking to be mm. someone who can protect themselves mm. in a way your father could not. So, Mr. Schultz, I would just hope that you would understand that. Mm. But I'm afraid you don't. I'm afraid that... What does he keep saying? Mm. If you step down as CEO, that you don't understand that these people are afraid that your company will lose its way again mm. and that they need rights that don't just come from you but uh. come from the company. That's what they're looking uh. for. It lost its way. You say you're back, mm. but it could lose its way again. Workers should not be dependent upon you, Mr. Schultz, in your sense of right and wrong. They should be able to have laws, protections, unions mm. that stand up for them every single day of the year. And that is something I think, Mr. Schultz, that you just fundamentally don't understand. These workers are just like your father mm. and they have no rights god damn i mean i don't think he cares i'll be honest i mean it's a good speech but oh this is howie crying that they were calling him a billionaire a billionaire let's just get get at that okay i grew up in federally subsidized how let me finish i grew up in federally subsidized housing my parents never owned a home I came from nothing. Yeah, part of that is because, like, I'm sure your father, as Howard Schultz also pointed out, was working in a workplace where there were no adequate uh, safety uh, measures, and he couldn't bring home a larger percentage of the profits that he was generating for another boss, okay? So that's why you had to take advantage of, like, federal government help and federal government assistance, okay? Okay. And there's a very simple solution to that. 
it's uh, don't repeat the mistakes of your father's fucking company, like or, or the company that your father worked for. But no, very clearly, it's very clear that you haven't understood. Imagine going through all that and still coming out of shit stain. It was all for nothing. Not really. I get it. I totally understand it, dude. Talk to any fucking rich person. Like, they have class consciousness. Poor people do not. They have class consciousness, okay? That's it. The moment that they're like, the moment that they're like fucking billionaires, that means that they've already eroded all matter of labor protections as best as they possibly could uh, to, to get to a point that they've gotten to. Your father. I thought my entire life was based on the achievement of the American dream. Yes, I have billions of dollars. Yeah, it's, it's funny to fucking say that while simultaneously robbing others of achieving said dream. Like, as a CEO in the workplace, you have... Uh, uh, you have the power to allow others to also achieve this dream. And, and even like, not, not to say that like they're going to fucking become billionaires or whatever, but at the very least, like you could literally let them have a, a meaningful existence or a level of autonomy in their fucking workplace that doesn't constantly fuck them over and, and allows them to, to demand that they hire more uh, workers so that uh, the workload and the burden is eased, right? But of course, he doesn't want that to happen. Typical shit, you know? Um, oh, for the record, I do want to see... I do want to actually see what the, uh, what the defenders were saying. Because I'm sure the right wing uh, absolutely suckled on the boots of the billionaire. You know what I mean? Because they, they have to. They have to go to the woke, they, them, non-binary Starbucks and defend Starbucks because it's a corporation, right? It's a, it's a billionaire. A billionaire must be respected at all costs. I earned it. No one gave it to me. And I've shared it constantly with the people of Starbucks. And so anyone who keeps labeling this billionaire thing... No, you didn't. You didn't earn it. No one earns a billion dollars, Okay. I mean, I guess you can have wage laborers or wage workers now earning a billion dollars. But the real way and the best way and perhaps the only way, the uh, other than like the super hyper specific, super unique way, okay, that you are like a, a wage worker or a salaried employee or a contracted worker that actually has an obligation to serve the top of the hour ad break at the top of every hour where, uh, you know, you can avoid those ads as long as you subscribe to said uh, contracted employee who himself is a billionaire. Obviously, me, I'm talking about myself, uh, which uh, you can contribute to the billionaire fund that I have by subscribing for $5 or for free with the Twitch Prime or uh, by getting gifted a sub if you're lucky, okay? Imagine there was a meritocracy where you could make $1 billion. I mean, I don't even... I guess it could technically happen. The point is, he said he earned that billion, okay? No, you didn't. You didn't earn that billion. You hired others whose labor, uh, surplus labor value you exploited. Like, that's how you earned it. One does not usually earn a billion dollars uh, through wages, Okay through directly their own labor. That's not how that works. Hassan covering his future ass, Pepela, if you think that I will be a billionaire one day and that's why I'm covering my future ass, do not understand any of the concepts I speak of. What do I mean by this? Because if I do end up becoming a billionaire one day, that means I've already long lost what I have advocated for in the past because I see no way of me getting a billion dollar contract from Amazon for serving top of the hour ad breaks or whatever the fuck. Okay. 
Poor Rory, thank you for the 10, give the subs. Infinite Ryman, thank you for the 5, give the subs. That means I've already fucking made the switch over to the profitable grift of uh, advocating for corporations and the wealthy's best interests while simultaneously serving you a, a wonderful little dream like, oh, guys, everything is actually fine, Steven Pinker style. You know what I mean? Technology has improved so much. You can watch someone in real time, non-fucking-stop, at the comfort of your home. I mean, why do you complain about the situation? I mean, capitalism has eviscerated global poverty. Extreme poverty is basically long gone. I mean, how dare you? That's how I would make a billion. <sighs> That's how I would do it. Hasan Abi can never be a billionaire because he will never achieve his hoop dreams. Okay, chill. Your ass would have to work at your current rate for 250 to 500 years without spending a dime. Chatters don't understand math. Exactly. People do not understand how fucking major a billion dollars is like they don't understand the difference between how much money i have and a billion dollars is about a billion dollars <laughs> that's how much money it is okay <laughs> like <laughs> the difference between a hundred million dollars and a billion dollars is about a billion dollars like think about that <laughs> that's how much that's how how much a billion dollars is. It's the rectful clip. Exactly. Anyway. It's the shelter. I, I don't mean to cut you off. We have time limits here, and you have well, the I opportunity. I, I'm not cutting no, you it's, off. It's your, it's your moniker constantly. It's unfair. No, it is I not. You have had more time. Well, I've been generous with the time. Yeah, that, I'm but, sorry. But, Mr. Chairman. We have a room yeah. full of people. Yeah. We have a panel to go after you. Fine, You're not the fine. only person testifying. Okay. This, this moniker billionaire, let's just get, get at that, okay? I grew up in federally subsidized house. Let me finish. You got real butthurt about that.